Yo, what's up guys, so welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS here in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3 with a super simple trick guys. So therefore, if you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So yeah guys, and for today's video, I prepared two specific files for you guys. The first one is gonna be CC Cleaner, which is a super nice tool guys to just overall clean up your PC you know, and make it way faster. And if you guys are wondering where you can get it from, just simply click on the first link in the description where you can find my Discord, guys. And they can see the channel, which is called CC Cleaner. You can also just like type it in here, actually. Hashtag CC Cleaner. And then you should find the channel here itself. And from there, you can download it, guys. It's a free tool. And yeah, just simply click onto it. You know, we're gonna go here real quick through the installation process. And I gotta say, I've been using CC Cleaner now for years already, yeah? Um, you actually don't want, wait, you don't want this one, this one, and yeah, for the rest you can go here on the installation, you know, of course they want to give you like some cookies for the web browser and stuff like that, but yeah, we don't need it. Then besides that, we're going to launch the program now, and you can see we're getting CC Cleaner free ready for you, and now it's going to take like a few seconds, it's going to analyze your PC, we of course don't want the paid version, we're just going to start here, and then we have health check, custom clean. Performance optimization, which is new actually here, but I think it's like a paid feature. We're just gonna focus about health clean and we're gonna click on to start and it's gonna ask us to close all the applications in the background. It needs to actually run successfully here. So, and then it's gonna take here, yeah, you wanna close it, yes. And then it's now checking here our PC. If you have any issues actually on our PC, you know, um, of course, there's also like a small amount of stuff which is only getting scanned if you have the pro version. But you can see guys, I have 17,000 megabytes literally, um, <laughs> which are here on my PC. So therefore, yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna go here on to make it better now. Then you can see now your PC is feeling good now, make it feel even better with the pro version, but uh, yeah, we don't need it guys. Like the normal version is already really good. Then we're gonna go here onto custom clean and you can see we can remove like everything which is somehow here like cookies in our browser, temporary data on our PC, memory dumps, log files pretty much like anything yeah and we're gonna analyze it here real quick then we're gonna go here onto run clean actually go into continue and you guys should see we have another 11 megabytes here removed just of temporary data on our pc guys i always keep my pc super clean for so for you it might be way more then we're gonna go as well here onto application do exactly the same thing analyze it run cleaner and you guys should see yeah there's pretty much nothing because as mentioned i keep my pc always super clean so guys and in this next step we're going to click now onto registry yeah and in there it's now going to scan as well here for our whole entire pc let's just say as an example that you did like a dope premiere update or maybe a google chrome update and you have some issues on your pc now we're gonna go here now onto review selected issues it's gonna select all of them and yeah, we don't want to make a backup. And you can see there are 478 missing or like corrupted files on my PC. So therefore we're going to fix them all. And our PC is completely fixed now. So therefore this is like a repair tool as well built in guys. I'm super, super convinced CC Clean is an amazing program. As mentioned, I've been using for, I don't know how many years now. So therefore now we can close it and now let's continue with the second part and yeah guys for this next step i want you to click on the first link in the description where you can find my website guys and there in here now we have different categories guys and on the top it should say fps boost just simply click onto it then you get redirected and here on the top you should see now a post with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now again click onto it guys and once you're here now just simply scroll down a little bit guys until you find the download button which is going to redirect you to google drive from where you can download a zip file guys yeah and the zip file should look exactly like this one here disable maintenance and then we're gonna right click onto it extract it all here onto our desktop guys and in there we should have three specific um registry files the first one low latency is pretty much gonna put all your hardware which you have plugged in into your pc it doesn't matter if it's your keyboard your mouse your controller literally from power saving mode into like high performance mode kind of you know like um, the same way as you can change it in your energy settings guys, you know that you have like literally like no power saving mode on your components. So they're working even better, you know, so you have less latency. So we're gonna click onto it, apply here this registry tweak real quick on our PC. Then this next step guys, we have disable energy estimation, which is going to disable the power saving feature on our PC as well, you know, going to click again onto it and disable maintenance and disable maintenance guys. This is pretty much like Windows updates or unnecessary stuff of like updates of programs, which maybe don't even utilize on a daily base so therefore we're gonna apply this one here as well real quick 
and now we're already done guys now you applied both of these steps here and you should definitely see way more fps in fortnite and i hope that you enjoyed this video and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace